So do you know why I've brought you into my office today? Oh, I'm getting promoted? All close, you're getting fired. Oh, bro, you're actually throwing, honestly. Well, I'm sorry, mate, but you're getting replaced by AI. Hang on. Boss, that's a micro- I said you're fired. Yeah. All right, I'll admit, that skit was probably a little bit over the top, but my point still stands. And that being the fact that AI is coming, and it's coming for us all. Especially you. Okay, that was a little bit mean, I'm sorry. But let's just hold our horses for a second because someone's grandma might be watching this and thinking, what the heck is an AI? Well, get ready, you dentured disciple, because to put it extremely simply, AI just teaches robots through trial and error so they can learn and get great at their jobs thus stopping them from ramming their face into a wall like an absolute nutcase. So now with the recent influx of AIs getting really good at jobs we once thought only humans could do, that begs the question. Now, talking about these jobs and hobbies is cool and all, but I think it'll be more fun to rank them. And what better way to do this than this totally original tier list? Ranging from A tier, where not even the most advanced of AIs could replace you, to all the way in F tier, where you're at risk of being finessed by a sodding toaster. Right, so I'm assuming you've got all that, so let's begin. So let's talk about the elephant in the room artists. But just to clarify, I am only on about digital artists. I mean, could you imagine a robot using paint? Now, a lot of people do tend to think that artists are going to get replaced by AI because it can make art that looks generally amazing. I mean, until you realise that everything is six fingers. Oh! Right, so some things might not be looking great. But to my fellow artists, before you give up, you might want to consider these three things. Copyright. AI lacks creativity, so to compensate for this, they copy from real people, and sometimes without them knowing, leaving for some very reasonably angry artists. <laughs> Loyalty. If someone likes art enough to the point where they're commissioning artists, they probably aren't going to be swayed by what AI is making. Laws. New scams and fake news posts are being created every day with AI art. Huh? <laughs> Most notably, the Willy Wonka experience that happened like a month ago now. Was it too? While visitors were expecting lollipop trees and candy canes, just like the time I fed my neighbour's dog laxatives, all they were receiving was a bunch of crap scattered everywhere. So with all that in mind, you're probably wondering, where would I put artists on the tier list? Well, with all things considered, I'm going to give artists a C, because I think you should keep going. I can't spell. Now, when you consider the fact that video AIs are capable of making things that look like this, yeah, these puppies aren't real. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> you might think that filmmakers are well... cooked. And while I wouldn't blame you for thinking this, as someone who likes to make films and skits themselves, there's something that keeps bothering me. Let me explain. When filmmakers make a scene in their movie or show, there's always a reason behind the lighting or camera angle they choose. Take this example from The Matrix. A close-up shot as the face is the subject, a blurry background to keep the face the centre of attention, and manually adding lighting to set the tone. And this is just scraping the surface. And filmmakers do this for almost every scene in a movie, so it flows nicely together. No, so let's say in theory, you are going to make a movie with AI. Firstly, due to the fact that AI isn't that creative, it looks like you're the director. Unfortunately, it can't read your mind, so to stop the AI from diverting, you're going to have to tell it every single minute detail of your movie, including the type of shot on the first scene, the lighting on the second, and the sound design on the last. And because AI actors aren't a thing yet, it looks like you're doing some character design as well. So alone, I don't see AI doing the job, but working alongside filmmakers, now that could be a nice addition to their arsenal. <laughs> Heck, even I'm using AI in this video right now. Like, do you really think I know how to green screen this well? I mean, this thing can barely hold itself together. But at the end of the day, that's just high quality film. So what about when it comes to normal videos or YouTube, where quality clearly doesn't matter? Well, I mean it's inevitable. When everyone has access to video making AIs, either everyone's going to be chill and not abuse it, or we might suffer a half-baked AI video apocalypse. Maybe there's too many of them. We're gonna get overrun. No, don't worry. I got this. Oh, the AI messed up again. Well, time to remake the entire scene. And so he says, don't worry, I got this. Kills all the zombies, and then he's like, wow, you did it. And then... And then they proceed to make out. So in conclusion, video AIs are extremely powerful and will continue to evolve in the future. But when it comes down to it, I can't see them replacing filmmakers. And for that reason, is what I'm going to put them at a B. 
for, I don't know, boobs. Now, before I end the video, I want you to know one thing. Just because companies like AI because it might save them money, doesn't mean it can go and stop you from being funny. That might mean something, I don't know.